talk about a far lesser known Krampus movie, Krampus the Christmas Devil, that came out in 2013. Isn't that a good year, Gomez? Yes. Just because it has 13 in it. If you guys are new, to subscribe and check out our spooky playlists. I'm Morticia, and this is my darling husband, Gomez, in his beautiful Krampus shirt. So, this movie, I guess, had a lot of, like, criticism because it was kind of... It wasn't really fancy when it was put together. It didn't have a lot of special effects and everything, but I think sometimes that can ruin a movie and make it over the top and more than it really is. And I kind of like the low budget look of this one. And I like the fact that Krampus was dressed kind of the way um, gentlemen do in Europe and even parts of the US where they dress up for Krampus knocked. And when they have the parade and they're wearing like a long kind of robe and the Krampus mask. So um, people were criticizing how Krampus looked, but I kind of like that it was he was looking authentic. Like um, Krampus has actually been around in that tradition for a very long time, right, Gomez? Yes, even as early as 375 A.D., he was already documented in such capacity with the masks and everything. So. 375 A.D. I mean, we're not talking 375 years ago. We're talking 375 A.D., like older than your granddad. Yes. <laughs> so it's it's really cool. Like I love Krampus. I love the fact that he stands for just be good and do what's right. You know, um, I don't think he's a scary villain at all. But I really like this movie because it shows him. Um, helping to get bad people, whether they're children or adults. Um, this cop is going after his childhood kidnapper and some other stuff is going on and we don't want to ruin the plot, but Krampus is kind of, in a sense, under Santa's orders helping the cops while he goes after bad children. He's helping go after bad adults, too. Um, which I like because I always thought that it's for children, but it's for adults, too. You know, Krampus's message to everybody is be good. Um, or else. So, um, I, I like that. And it just reminds people for the holidays to appreciate what the holidays are really for and not to ruin it with negativity and doing things you don't need to do and resentments and everything. I've said that so much before because so many people hate Christmas because people ruin it and like make it what it's not supposed to be with spending too much and stressing out and I think Krampus would consider all that no-nos. But let's get back to the movie. It had really cool 80s music. It looked kind of low budget in the 80s, which we really liked. Um, the plot definitely could have been done better. I'm not saying it was great, but it's good for fun holiday spirit. Um, Leatherface is in it. Yeah, R. A. Mikhailov is the actor who played one of the Leatherfaces, so it was interesting. Yeah, you have to watch it to figure out where Leatherface is and who it is. We're not going to ruin it and tell you, but he's in it, so I mean, hey, perfect Christmas cheer. <laughs> um, but I liked Santa. He looked a little bit different too, but you knew it was Santa, and Krampus was like old school, traditional looking Krampus, which is cool, but like, Santa, um, this kid was like hoarding animals, and then Krampus was going after him, and Santa's like, you know, Krampus beat him down, basically, and Santa's like, Santa straight up tells the kid, like, you know, you need to not be a little shit. And I know what you did, it's like Santa telling a kid not to be a little shit is hilarious. Like, <laughs> which, no, I mean, like, Santa's human too, or, or not, maybe not, but I mean, you know, he has feelings, and he has to express himself sometimes, and, you know, he wasn't exaggerating, hurting animals is not okay, and little kids who do that are little shits, so I mean, you know, and, you know, he said that his Christmas present was basically, like, not letting Krampus totally eat him and stuff, like, <laughs> something like that, like, you get to live, and that's your Christmas present, so be good, and, like, that was kind of funny. Um, I love the way Krampus and Santa work together. He calls him his brother in this movie, so it's a duality. There's several different myths about Santa's connection to Krampus, and this one plays on the brother one, but they got on well. Um, Krampus helps. Krampus has a really good creepy voice. It sounds kind of strong, too. Like, he doesn't sound evil. Yeah. Um, but it sounded otherworldly, which I like. And what else? Ominous. Ominous, yeah. <laughs> And, but, you know, like, he helped Santa, and, like, it was good. I really liked the interplay with the two of them. It reminded me of my sister Ophelia's blog, which I will leave below, because I really like the way she writes the interplay of Santa and Krampus. And she hadn't seen this movie yet. She watched it yesterday with us. But it's 2013. Um, again, because it was so low budget and not as flashy, it was not... Um, spoken of as much as the 2015, which is usually what people think about when they think about Krampus. 
And I guess I liked uh, how it showed the, basically the effects of what Krampus does overall because in the very beginning of the movie we see a child that seemingly was taken by Krampus and the child seems to have become a police officer later so he's a reformed child if he was bad now he's good now he's serving society doing his best he understands what it's like to be naughty or nice so it was very nice it's like shows what the message of campus is all about it's not about hurting you it's not about punishing you although those things are part of it it's also about showing you the way towards something better yeah it's consequences but um improvements yes and life is full of consequences and i mean the most terrible children that i have seen are the ones who do not get taught consequences and they grow up into terrible adults because they don't understand that life has consequences when you do act a act b will happen to you and when they don't get act b growing up from parents or krampus you know like they don't see that and they have to learn the hard way and then they don't process it uh, so it had several interesting moments, it had that interaction, it had uh, again showing uh, cops in a more humane atmosphere with what they have to go through and such, so it was uh, a very interesting round uh, basically movie which touches on several social aspects. They could have done it better, the dialogue and the, the presentation wasn't the best and I see why it got a lot of negative reviews on that, um, but the intent was good, and if you are watching it with the right um, lack of criticism, you will understand the intent. And uh, there was another movie that came out with the same actor sequel. Uh, the actor's name, by the way, is A.J. Leslie, and he's reprising his role in the sequel that came out in 2016 as well. We haven't watched that one yet, but... Is it called The Return of the Christmas Devil? Yes. Yeah, we need to see that one. We're going to see it next, and we'll review it. So we're bringing the more rare Krampus to light for you, and we hope you watch it and give yourself a little Christmas cheer with it. And until next time, have yourself a merry Krampusnacht. <laughs>